What is up guys, Delboy here. So IBF light heavyweight champion Artur Peterbiev's next fight has been announced. He is going to be taking on Radivoj Kaladzic. This fight takes place on the 4th of May and it goes down at the Stockton Arena in Stockton, California. Now the first thing that is worth mentioning is this fight is on the same day as Canelo Alvarez versus Danny Jacobs so you know that's a weird decision to put this fight on the same day but regardless you know this fight itself is fairly intriguing it's got a level of intrigue because it's hard to gauge how good Kaladzic is now you may remember Kaladzic from a fight back in 2016 against Marcus Brown he fought Marcus Brown in April 2016 in an eight round fight and arguably Kaladzic won that fight. He officially lost by split decision but most people who have seen that fight kind of attest to the fact that Kaladzic should have won. Both guys got dropped if memory serves correct but you know for the most part Kaladzic was the guy in control. He put it on Marcus Brown, you know, he boxed well at times and he was aggressive at times. And for me, he just had the better moments. From what I remember, Marcus Brown looked really uncomfortable that night. And yeah, I felt Kaladzic won the fight, to be quite honest. But the issue is, apart from that, there's really not much on Kaladzic's resume. The only other semi-notable name is... A guy by the name of Lionel Thompson. Lionel Thompson is a decent domestic level fighter in the United States but he's nowhere near close to world level and you know arguably that is Kaladzic's best win. So apart from that eight rounder against Marcus Brown where Kaladzic got robbed there's really not much on his resume so it's hard to tell whether that Marcus Brown fight was a flash in the pan and a bad night for Marcus Brown or whether, you know, Kaladzic is just a really good fighter who has gone under the radar. It's kind of hard to tell how good Kaladzic is and that's where the intrigue comes from in regards to this fight. From what I remember and from what I've seen, you know, Kaladzic, he's a guy with solid technical skills, you know, he's a decent all-rounder, good jab, um, he delivers his shots in a good technical manner. He has above average punching power. You know, he's got 17 knockouts in 25 fights. He's listed as 6 foot 2 with a 76 inch reach. That actually means he has a 3 inch reach advantage on Baterbiev and also a 2.5 inch height advantage. So Kaladzic is the taller, longer man. And like I said, from what I see, he has above average boxing skills with decent power. So maybe he can give the smaller Baterbiev problems with his solid fundamentals and decent punching power. However, obviously, naturally going into this fight, he will be a significant underdog. Uh, one area for concern I have is the inactivity from Kaladzic. Now, usually in a Baterbiev fight, we're talking about Baterbiev's inactivity well, Kaladzic has been even more inactive. So, since that Marcus Brown fight, which was in April 2016, Kaladzic has had seven rounds of action. So he's had three fights, one of the fights ended in five rounds, and the other two fights ended in one round. And these fights were at a low level, so Kaladzic hasn't been active, and, you know, he hasn't really fought at a good level since that Marcus Brown fight. So that's an area for concern. That's one area where I am a bit worried. And also, like I said, Kaladzic is just an unproven fighter. He's a bit of a mystery, to be quite honest. How good is this guy? We really don't know at the end of the day. Like I said, that Marcus Brown fight could have genuinely been a flash in the pan. You know, Marcus Brown, to his credit, has got a lot better since that fight. Maybe it was just an off night for Marcus Brown. You know, these things do happen in boxing. But like I said, on the flip side, 
Maybe Kaladzic is the best kept secret at light heavyweight. It could be one or the other, or it could be somewhere in between. But, like I said, the, the answer is we just don't know how good this guy is. And yeah, that's where the intrigue comes from. But as for Baturbiev, we know what he's about, you know. He's an aggressive guy with savage punching power. He's 13-0 with 13 knockouts. You know, um, good amateur background. Lovely punch technique on all of his shots. He can box. He can slug. Uh, he can work the body. You know, Baturbiev is a really serious fighter at light heavyweight. And he's a problem for anybody with that type of punching power, aggression, and also boxing ability. We all know about Baturbiev, and going into this fight, he is favourite. And I've got to say, even if the Kaladzic from that Marcus Brown fight shows up, I, I would still make Baturbiev a favourite, I can't lie. Um, you know, Kaladzic wasn't perfect in that fight. He did get dropped, he did get caught quite a lot. Um, I wonder how good Kaladzic is defensively. And yeah, all in all, I do believe Baturbiev is a superior fighter in terms of, you know, technique, skill, and also punching power and strength. Baturbiev should win this fight. But, like I said, there's an element of the unknown um, about this fight. And Kaladzic is the type of guy who potentially could be a banana skin. He could derail all of Baturbiev's plans. Now, Baturbiev has recently um, settled his court case with his old promoter, Jim. So now he's free to, you know, have a career. So, you know, he needs to win this fight. He can't afford to look over Kaladzic. He needs to be professional and get the job done. But I've got to say, I am intrigued about this fight. At very least, I do enjoy watching Baturbiev fight. So I'm looking forward to it. Share your thoughts below. What do you make of this bout? Peace.